Hi, and welcome back to my beautiful garden and my channel. If you're new here, I'm Nicole. I'm a pet nutrition specialist, animal osteopath, and homeopath. And this is Iberia, my 14-year-old dog. We've been really looking forward to the return of spring, of the sunshine, and bees and butterflies to come and pollinate our flowers. But we've definitely not been looking forward to returns of flea, tick, and mosquito season. And this is what I'm sharing with you today. Four recipes that after tons of research and tons of practice and trial and error I came up with that really help keep Iberia free from ticks, fleas, mosquitoes, and these are recipes that I also use myself. And what I like about them is that not only are they respectful to us and our bodies, but also to our environment. All of these recipes are safe to use on plants and safe to use in the yard. The first recipe is for my 10% neem shampoo. Because neem oil tends to crystallize, I always start by lightly warming it up in a water bath. I add 9 grams or 1 teaspoon of neem oil to a clean jar, and then I add 81 grams or a third of a cup of a mild shampoo or conditioner. I then add a few drops of geranium oil, mix it well, and my shampoo is ready. I use this weekly starting about three weeks before the start of tick and flea season, making sure to really lather apiberia and leaving it on for about 10 minutes to soak to make sure that the neem will be absorbed through her skin and her fur. The next recipe is my 2% neem oil spray that I use in the evening when mosquitoes are particularly feisty or if I'm planning on going into the woods. So to a clean spray bottle, add 353 grams or a cup and a half of water and then add seven grams or one and a half teaspoons of neem oil. Add a drop of mild dish soap to help the oil dissolve better. Give it a good shake and you're good to go. Just make sure to shake it before spraying to make sure the neem oil is well dissolved. And with this recipe as well, if I lived in a highly infested area, I would add the 5% cedar wood oil and 3% geranium oil to give it a little bit more of a kick. This is similar to some of the natural repellent products that you can buy, but because it has neem oil, it has a lot more power against ticks, fleas, and mosquitoes. Now, the first natural product that I used was actually a replacement for those spot-on products. And unfortunately, it was discontinued, so I decided to make a copycat version, and then I kind of improved on the recipe. I use it for myself as well, so I've chosen coconut oil as a base because it does firm up at room temperature. So here I added 55 grams or a fourth of a cup of my carrier oil to a small jar. Then I added one gram or just shy of a fourth of a teaspoon of neem oil and two grams or just over a fourth of a teaspoon of geranium oil. I let it gently melt in a water bath and then I mix it thoroughly. When it's time to apply it, I either use it as a lotion on myself or I gently warm it up and then use a small syringe without the needle to apply it between my dear shoulder blades and also along her paws. This is what I use when we are planning on going deep in the woods because I want to discourage ticks from crawling up her legs and kind of burning into her fur. I don't know if you noticed when I was showing you all of the products that you can make at the beginning of the video that I had this in it. This is an amber necklace. I have been using it with Iberia for about five years and this is you know kind of one of those little extra little tips that you can add to really help to keep ticks and fleas off of your dog. Now I actually discovered it five years ago when I was here in Germany for on vacation and I was in the woods with Iberia in a beautiful forest and I kept seeing dogs with necklaces and not just little dogs but even German Shepherds and Rottweilers which are very common here in Germany and I was wondering about it so I actually stopped some owners and asked them about it and they said that it was an amber necklace they used it against ticks and in their experience it had helped to decrease the amount of ticks that they were finding on their dog. So I researched amber necklaces and I found out that they work two ways. When they're worn, they get warm and they start release some of their pine resin scent. And as they're worn, they actually rub against a dog's fur, releasing some electrostatic charges. And both the charges and the pine smell actually repel ticks and fleas. I haven't been able to find any studies on it, but I decided to get one for Iberia anyway. And I've been really happy with it. And so has she actually. <laughs> if you decide to buy an amber necklace for your dog, make sure that you buy unpolished amber. In the description, I linked the one that I would buy if I were to buy a new one for Iberia today. And the last recipe I'm going to share with you is one I have adapted and I am now using with my plants. So to a glass bottle, add 500 grams or two cups of water. And to that, add 25 grams or five and a half teaspoons of neem oil and 15 grams or three teaspoons of this detergent. Cap 
your bottle and shake it well. I use it once a month when I'm watering infested plants to prevent fruit fly eggs and larvae from developing. You can't imagine how happy I was when after all of this trial and error, I actually came up with recipes that were effective, that would keep my animals and me safe from tick and flea and mosquito-borne diseases and that would also be respectful to my yard, my plants, and the natural bee and butterfly population. So I'm really, really excited to be able to share them with you. If these recipes are helpful, please leave us a like, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And go ahead and check out our next video. It's going to be linked over here. We're going to go into a little bit more detail as to why chemical substances are really harmful to pets and to humans as well. And we're also going to see how you can adapt some of these recipes based on your needs and your animal's needs. Thank you for watching us. Give your dog and cat a kiss from us and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.